Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm really late. It's almost 7.30 making this video because I said to Jim, what shall I talk about? I had no idea, but then again I thought, well, we'll just share my day, what I did. I actually did laundry. I was going to show you my closet, but then it got dark and I didn't show you my closet. So I'm not going to do that. I might do it another day. I was going to show you my closet and I was going to show you my sock drawer and my other drawer that I have where my underwear is because I really keep a nice neat drawer. I've always always have with um when I was home we ha I used to share my dresser with my sisters. There was three of us in a room so we had to share and the way we kept our stuff neat in that drawer was we had a shoe box. If you if you save your big shoe boxes or a shoe box from when you buy your shoes you can um, separate use them as drawer separators and that's what I use. I still use shoe boxes. Then I washed the dog. I gave the dog a bath because he'd been itching and he I don't know if he's got dry skin. I only got two fleas off of him so I don't know. He, he never seems to have any, any um, fleas when I give him his bath, but he does a lot of itching, so maybe his skin is a little dry. Then I used my dehydrator. I wanted to mention yesterday, but Jim kind of distracted me. The reason I got my hydrator out is I was watching, oh, I want to say Aunt Angie, but it's not Aunt Angie because she reminds me of my Aunt Angie. Um, oh, um. Oh, boy, I just drew a blank. Holy smokes. Can I have my iPad so I can, the black one I'll take this time because the other one's charging. Um, Jack, Jackie, that's who it was, see, Jackie's Corner. I knew, I knew it. It just takes a minute sometimes. I was watching Jackie's Corner, and she was making beef jerky, but she was using ground beef, and I thought, wow, I didn't know you could do that but she was making it and it looked really good. So that's why I got my dehydrator out. And I thought, what can I dehydrate? Because I didn't have any ground beef that was um, thawed or enough to even use to do that. So I thought, well, let's see. And so I looked in the refrigerator. When I buy this, I bought salami, hard salami. It's, I got it from Aldi's and it's one of the packages that they don't refrigerate um, but once you open them, you have to either refrigerate it. And I always throw things in the freezer because we never eat them fast enough. So I throw it in the freezer. Well, today I decided I would do the rest of this hard salami. And then I put it between two paper towels and in a penny saver. And I put it in, I put it in a casserole is what I did. It's, it's getting empty again. We've been eating it. And I did it like this so it felt like a candy dish. But I, because I put it in the um, paper towels and between the newspaper, it took all the extra fat that was on it off. And it looks just like as if I had bought beef jerky or jerky from the store. It gives it a real nice texture and, and it's not greasy like beef yesterday's was a little more greasy looking because I didn't, I didn't put it between the paper towels and in the between the newspaper so it could suck up the, the grease. Um, when we would make cookies, that brings me to the cookies. When I was living at home, my mother used to open up paper bags or, and lay them on top of the counter or the table. And when she took the cookies off the cookie sheet, when you baked them, you know, there's a little bit of a fat there. And so she used to put them on this paper bag and and let them cool that way and a lot of the extra that was on them would come off. That's what I was thinking of. And then Jim went to the store and returned my other um, earbuds and this is the one I've got now. It's it's a black one. It's just like his. It cost us a little bit more but it's it paired with all of the devices. And this is the box that came in. Does this one open? In the front? Yep. Yeah. This one shows a handsome fellow. <laughs> Mine had just the stuff on it. But um, 
put that in there. So I've got my earbuds, and I was listening to um, a few videos with it to make sure it works, and it works. Um, I went through everything already. Wow, that was fast talking, didn't I? Um, Did bearded. I? Oh, and I watched. Bearded butcher. Thank you. I watched the bearded butcher. I watched him take the bones completely out of a half a half a pig. Half a pig. It was a half a pig, and then they rolled it like you would roll and tied it with the rope, the string, not rope, <laughs> the the butcher butcher string, and it was for some club or something that yeah, they were going to do pulled 4-H. They were going to do pulled pork, and it was going to be easier for them to do it if it didn't have the bones in it. He is really good. Thank you, Bob from Mountain Crest Farms. He's the one that suggested him. And um, I noticed he has some some of the some of the stuff in there is also cooking of some of the meat, which is something I need because you know, until I went on keto, I really didn't cook a lot of meat. I did meat like my mother did, and my mother was one that could cook uh, chuck roast enough to feed eight people, but it also had the carrots and the potatoes and the onions and everything with it. You know, you had a lot of stuff with it besides just the meat. And I remember my, this is a story my father used to tell because he said he was so poor, so poor, that um, he says, it's like when you have a piece of bread, you smell the salami and take a bite of bread. <laughs> I don't know whether they really did or not, but that's what he said, that they could actually, you would do that if you were dirt, dirt poor, and he must have been dirt poor because he, he mentioned it, and um, that was when he was working in the coal mines, I guess, years and years and years ago when they used to have to do that. Um, there was something else I was thinking of that when I said that, it made me think of something else, and then it went poof, right out of my brain. Oh, my God goodness oh I know what it was it was about sardines do you like sardines I like sardines but <laughs> the only way I like sardines is with bread and so I because I haven't eaten any any bread I used to like to open the can of sardines wiggle it in some vinegar take a bite of the sardine take a bite of bread and it was oh it was delicious but I haven't tried the sardines since I haven't had the bread. But I could probably, I could make a chaffle and eat sardines with that. Because I've been making them, I, I was making them long before the darn chaffle word came out. I had no idea what it was. I would use my regular, um, my husband's smiling. <laughs> it goes from one thing to another thing. It's just... It's the way my brain works. I have lots of stuff in that head of mine. Yep, you do. A lot of stuff. And and if I talked about all of it, you would we would be here all night. But um, I was making waffles with or chaffles, whatever you want to call them, with a waffle iron long before somebody came out with that little tiny cute waffle iron that makes a nice little round chaffle. And I was making my sandwiches with that. I was, I was, I would um, make egg salad in it or tuna in it, and I would just flop it over. And if you, I used to pour the whole batter into the waffle iron because it would fill two, at least two of the things, and then that would be like a sandwich, and you could flop it in. And um, I, it, I could eat the sardines with that probably, and it would taste probably very good. I haven't tried it. Some. I will try it and I will let you know if I liked it or not. Well, um, I guess. Someday maybe we'll have to get some Fox Hill Kitchen. Um, What's Fox Hill Kitchen? They make keto waffle or keto breads and, and bagels and oh, things like that. Yeah, we've never had that. I don't know. Try that. Sometime. Try that. Yeah, and see. Maybe that would be a good idea. Then I could have my fried egg sandwich the way I like my fried egg sandwich. Someday yeah. I should show that that the kids love it. When I when the kids come here, I ask them what they want. Well, one of them always wants mashed potatoes, so I buy the instant Idaho mashed potatoes so I can make her mashed potatoes. And her mother bought the same potatoes, and she says that mine always taste better. Well, I don't know. I, it's just because it's at my house. 
And um, Nona stuff always tastes better. It always better. tastes better. The kids like it. And then the other kids will want the fried egg sandwiches. And when I had the daycare, I used to make that for the kids for breakfast. I would give, instead of giving them toast and an egg, I would cook it where the egg is right on top of the bread because if I gave them toast and egg, they'd eat one or the other. They wouldn't eat both. Where this way, they eat both. Now, my grandkids, they have a sweet tooth. I don't know where they got that from because I never liked it that way. Apparently, Owen, I think probably I gave them the sweet tooth <laughs> because they didn't want to eat. And I says, oh, well, try this. And I put a little maple syrup on it. Shame on me. But I did. And they they ate it. And I used to put like a dab of ketchup. I, we had ketchup in a, it was in a little, you know, how they the store has the mustard in the ketchup containers with the cute little thing on top so you could put like one little dot and so I like, used to cut their like the restaurants used yeah to. like the restaurants had I used to cut their egg I use um, kitchen scissors to cut because when you've got five or six kids and you're cutting up their food it could take forever if you did it with a fork so you just use the scissors and cut through and make little nice little squares and then you would put a dot of something on top usually ketchup or the kids, for some reason, want maple syrup. I might have done that one day when they didn't want to eat and they really needed to eat. I thought they should eat. I made this egg, you're gonna eat it, <laughs> kind of thing. And they eat. Now, I don't even have to, I don't have to do anything. They just ask me, they always say, Nona, I'm hungry. And I said, what do you want? And they want a fried egg sandwich. And Paige will always say she wants mashed potatoes. Of course, if mom's here, she says, but you just ate. Yeah, but she says, but I'm still hungry. They want to eat at my house. They always like to eat at my house. Then she'll ask me what kind of milk I have. Because there for a while we were buying almond milk. And now we've switched. And then we went to cream. And then we went to half and half. Cream. Huh? We went from heavy cream to Heavy light cream, cream to light cream. Because of the carrageenan that's in it. It's, it's like we are having a hard time finding it. Then we went to half and half because we couldn't find the creams anymore and we went shopping the other day to get the half and half the store had none so i said well i guess we gotta buy milk they had a couple pints and that was about it yeah pint we needed potatoes. more and if i'm making i'm making potatoes for the family i do have the keto dressing i should I should show you what that looks like. Maybe I will. And then I will direct you to where I learned how to make it because I'm not making it. I have it already made, so I'm not going to make it this year. I made it last year. I made a lot last year, and so I've got two pans full of it. So I will direct you to the where I learned it. I learned it from Farmer Mima, actually, is where I learned to make this. She, she did it. She was on keto for a while, and then she'd come off of keto, and then she'd go back onto keto. And she's the one that, when I was drinking kombucha, was the one that mentioned kombucha. She was the first one that I heard with the kombucha. Well, I guess I've talked long enough. <laughs> I, 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 could st I could go on and on and on, but I will <laughs> stop. I will um, talk to you tomorrow. So you have a great night or a great day, whenever you see this. Yeah, just have a great whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Great life. Great life. Yeah, that's a good one. Have a great life. No, that sounds mean in a way. Yeah. It sounds sassy. Yeah. Great life. No. Just have, just enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's maybe better. I don't know. Well, yeah. bye.